live from Arlington, Texas. Baseball coming up on this Memorial Day. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Texas Rangers. Just about to get started, and today on the hill, Dane Dunning and Ziggy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here, and as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it, and I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Wander Franco stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And down on strikes. And there's one down. Now it's Randy or Rosarena. Randy or Rosarena. In there for strike one. No score just getting started, top of the first. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Stays alive. Next pitch is outside. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup and start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve him. He dives, but he can't make the catch. That leaves him without a throw, and they come away without an out. Yandy Diaz now. Pulls that one foul. And the right-hander deals. Tapped up the first base side. He'll do it himself. Third out, that ends the frame. The Rays strand just the one. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. First, here is Marcus Simeon. Leading up for the race. The second and the pitch. Marcus Simeon. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Out towards left center. Kiermaier should have this one. He's got it. And there's one down. Batting second. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Corey Seager. And boom, he's a big-time run producer for these guys, man. Lead the team in homers, runs batted in, doing damage on the regular, man. Making opposing pitchers just sweat out there. It's kind of fun to watch. Get ready for a show when he steps into the box. Mitch Garver up to hit here. In the air to left center. And going back is Kiermaier. Falls it in. And there's two away. Here's the center fielder, Adolis Garcia. Foul. 
he got a first pitch breaking ball right there that he clearly liked the look of. Just needed to let it travel a little longer. Line to left. That's down. One hops off the wall. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Scoreless after one. Welcome back. Top of the second. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. And he deals. There's a strike. Strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Ricky Holiday, our umpire behind the dish, known as pretty fair umpire for both hitters and pitchers. Yeah, I think that's right, Boo. There is a little inconsistency on the corners of the plate. You can't always be sure how it's going to go with those borderline pitches as the game progresses. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. What out? Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it can take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Isaac Paredes now. That one fouled off. Here's your one. Out front and foul to the left side. Deal two. The punch out there. Two up, two down. Brett Phillips now at the plate. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. The big righty strikes out the side. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Here at the ballpark, Seager stands in now. Leading up for the Rangers, the shortstop. And a pitch. Corey Seager. Rips one to right. Base hit. And a board on the leadoff single. Batting fifth. This is Charlie Culberson to hit. Foul off down the right side. Seeger gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. And now the lefty. Missed to center field. Kiermaier under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Batting six. The first baseman. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Whoa. Ripped on a line to center. Brings it in. Two away. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. 
So next to hit for Texas, Eli White. He swings and fouls one off. One. Ripped on a line. Kiermaier racing over to make the catch. Rangers lead one. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. Let the right hater back to work. And he pumps it a strike. In the air, fairly deep to right field. One up, one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Here's Manuel Margot. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Top of the third, no score. Roll to Culberson. Slings it across. Score at 5 3 for the second out with the third baseman shifted over there. Now batting. Now batting Wander Franco. And first offering is fouled off. The next pitch misses. And that's ball one. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Ray's held in check here. And we're still knotted at zero. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And that one is lifted in the air. Kiermaier ranging to his right. Puts the squeeze on that one. Out number two. Now it's Marcus Simeon. He's old for one. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Marcus Simeon goes deep. His first homer of the year. The Rangers score first. It's one nothing. Extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch at that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets them off, and gets the home run. So two away with nobody on. And now here is now Mitch Garver. Mitch Garver. Liner, base hit. And with the inning still alive, here comes the heart of the order. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, now you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. And 
Now the center fielder, Adolis Garcia. Lifted in the air, right center field. A Rosarena on his way in. Makes the catch, inning over. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Randy Arozarena. Randy Arozarena. Dunning, back to work. Good eye right there. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Swings and misses, and it's one and one. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Here's Mike Zanino. First offering is fouled off. <laughs> the line to kick the pitch. Three got him looking. Picks up strikeout number seven. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swings through that one. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here's the 0-2. Stays alive. Foul ball there. Swing and a pop-up. Simeon makes the catch, and that'll do it. Rays go in order. One, two, three. And it remains one nothing. Ready to go. Bottom four. Now it's the shortstop, Corey Seager. Way to go. For the Rangers. Not the shortstop. Corey Seager. And here it comes. That first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. That's hard hit on the line. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Drove that ball nicely. Put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. So up next, Charlie Culverson. Now batting the third baseman, Charlie. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Kiermaier going back on this one. He can't get there, and that should be extra bases. Runner around third. In there safely. Back 
back-to-back -back base hits. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Now batting. The first base hit. Back up the middle and a base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Eli White stepping in for the Rangers. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Now that is the right fielder, Cole Calhoun. Next up for Texas, Cole Calhoun. Low, caught in a rundown now. And now he's dead at first as he can't get back. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Oh, it's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way. Just let it travel a hair more. The pitch. Rips that one center field. That's a base hit run scores. Well done. Drives in the run. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride to load out of the way early. Stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And the batter now, Jonah Heim. A switch hitter batting right. Next to the Rangers. The designated hitter, Jonah. Swing and a ball hammered left field back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. His first homer of the year, and they boost their lead. It's five zip. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? But a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Now and now, Marcus Simeon. Marcus. And a foul ball. Two outs. And there's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Bunting for a hit. He pops it up. He's got it. And that is out number three. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Rangers five, the Rays nothing. Back here at the ballpark, ready now for the fifth inning. Here's Kiermaier down. The pitch. And there's the strike. Next pitch misses, and it's a ball to strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. The pitch. Now a pop-up on the infield. Simeon drifts towards it. Drops into the glove. And there's one away. Now batting. The second baseman. Isaac Paredes. Isaac Paredes. The next to hit. In there and it's 0-1. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Fires across the diamond, and the first two set down on the top of the fifth. 
thought he was doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Next is the designated hitter, Brett Phillips. Out to short. That's the third out. Down in order, go the Rays. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the catcher, Mitch Garber. Ready to go for the Rangers. The catcher. The wind of the pitch. Garber. Left field. Mejia has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Up next for the Rangers, Adolis Garcia. And that one in the air center field. Kiermaier ranging back towards the wall. And it's caught for the out. Two outs, base is empty. And here's Corey Seager to hit. There's a swing and a drive. That one hops against the fence. The throw is wild and it gets away. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but he'll take that swing and that result every time. And the Rays manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move. Shane McClanahan won't go any further. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Ralph Garza takes over on the mound. He'll try to strand the runner at second. At this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. In the air, out towards left center. Long run, tracks it down. And that is that. One left for Texas as they are unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. Welcome back, top of the sixth inning. And now it's going to be Francisco Mejia. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Next offering is fouled back. Left hand batter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And that one fouled off. Oh, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Got him. One away. Oh, man, just locked him up with that slider, even though it caught a lot of the zone. And I think that tells you all you need to know about what he was looking for in the box, and it clearly was not that pitch. Manuel Margot up to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Cut on and miss, struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the Rays' leadoff hitter, Wander Franco. 
And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. In the air, out towards right center. Calhoun ranging into the alley and makes the grab. And that is that. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Six, seven, eight, two at the bottom of the six. It's the Rangers five, the Rays nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning. And here's the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. And a pinch. Center field. Kirby makes the grab. One pitch and one out. So digging in, Eli White. That one hooked foul. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. And going back is Kiermaier. Makes the grab, two down. Up next with the Rangers. The right fielder. Cole. Two outs, base is empty. So next to hit for Texas, Cole Calhoun. And he's already singled in this game. Line drive, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. In safely, it's a double at his second hit. Now it's the DH, Jonah Heim. In the air, left side, Mejia glides back. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Rangers leave one, but they hold a 5-0 lead. And welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's going to be Randy or Rosarena. And a pitch. Slider clips the zone. That's in there. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. And now, Mike Zunino, one for two. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Oh, it's you now. The punch out there. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. And now the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. First offering, misses the mark. In the air, out to center. Makes the grab, and that's the third out. Ray's held in check here. It's 5-0. Bottom of the seventh, and now it's the Rangers' leadoff hitter, Marcus Simeon. Garza back to work. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. That was a moonshot, and they add on. It's six nothing.
90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Here's the catcher to hit, Mitch Garver. Now batting, catcher, Mitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. Up next for the Rangers. The center field. And now Adolis Garcia. One for three. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That one carrying. And out of here. Adolis Garcia blasts one out. And they add to the lead. It's 7 0. see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch it from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Ryan Thompson comes on now. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. One down. Now it's Corey Seager. The batter, number five. Shortstop, Corey. That one ripped right center field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. This one in the air center field. Kiermaier settles under it, and that ends the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 7 0. We go to the eighth. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Kevin Kiermaier. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Next offering is fouled back. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Isaac Paredes, next to him for the Rays. That one's in there, 0 and 1. On the ground, right side. Simeon, toss over to first. And a couple of quick outs. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. And next is the designated hitter, Brett Phillips. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Third out. Nothing doing for Tampa. Not going their way. It's 7 nothing. Bottom of the eighth. And here's the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Leading off for the Rangers. The first baseman, Nathaniel. Oh. And he deals. That one laced to center and a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part oh, of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Right. 
here's the left fielder, Eli White. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Kiermaier drops steps, heads back on it. Pulls it in on the run. Then there's one down. Now batting. The right fielder. Cole. Cole Calhoun, Calhoun. Stepping in for the Rangers. It's a double, third hit of the night for him. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat, and I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog, and these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Now at the plate, Jonah Heim. That one ripped. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Both runners tagging. On the third, save as a run scores. Now it's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Up next to the right. The second baseman, Marcus. Runners breaking for the plate. In the air to left center. Kiermaier settles underneath it. Makes the catch. And that is that. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Rangers eight. The Rays nothing. All set to start the ninth in this one. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Francisco Mejia. Dunning back to work. Swing and a miss. 0-1. These guys have been very aggressive early in the count, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient. Take some pitches, see if you can extend those at-bats and get some base runners on. Right side. Over to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Now up for Tampa Bay, Manuel Marco. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. Here's Wander Franco. In there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Up the middle. Throw to first in time, and this one is over. The Rangers take this one in a blowout. Really incredible performance on the mound. You know he's going to stew a little bit over that one hit that he gave up because when you look at the body of work, so dominant, he'd have made just one better pitch. Perhaps he'd have a no-hitter. 8 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.